The true outcome of the direction of na nations is not first determined at the polling booth. What you find, even if you win at the polling booth, it will be manipulated. It will be manipulated. If you're lost in the spirit realm, if all you have is strategy, not in this day and time. Strategy is too weak to be the reason for which a nation as big as this will go in a certain direction. What we have come to do today is to blot out their diviners. There are people that understand spiritual currency and how nations are bound. They understand it. They understand how nations operate under a curse. They know what to do to blot out possibilities and to initiate directions uh, that are departures from the ordinations of God. We want to blot out their candlestick. The instrument of illumination that they use to chart this evil course, let it become darkness. I must see how my obe. Rumas keto brela hambe kusha la makaria. Oria mashike telo mokuria mahan laasi. So I've seen in, in all the cities we go to, because I've been to a few cities now in a short while, a few states, the same darkness, the flag of the altars are flying. What? That doesn't happen. It's not a very common sight. And I speak as a man that knows how to read atmospheres of territories. As a watchman. There are powers that have been committed to me in the assignment of the watches. So I speak from that point. There are many nations that have been to various territories. The flags of demonic influence do not fly in each territory. But everyone I've gone to so far, the flags fly. The altars have been activated. There's an order of darkness that is about to be unleashed on the territory. And the reason is to, is to facilitate an agenda of mind bending. But the Bible says he frustrated the token, tokens of the liars and make it diviners. You see, when people begin to suffer from the consequences of negative priesthood, when the priest begins to suffer, that's how the altars become vacant. We want to ask God for help. Because our prayers alone cannot change the tide. But we need help. There are some times in intercession. When God knows you don't have the capacity to meet the mark, he sends angels to strengthen your spirit. If you notice Jesus was laboring, angels came and ministered to him. Send us help. But by all means, frustrate the token of the liars. By all means, make diviners mad. By all means, the wisdom by which they walk, turn it backward. Amen. Oh, make their knowledge foolishness. Amen. That is the result of what happens when a superior priesthood enters into the mix of spiritual matters. The priest and his altar suffers loss. The weak priesthood and the priest of the weak altar suffers loss. This is not a fight that we should lose. This one should not be lost. That's right. It should not be lost. That's right. It should not be lost. Right. By now, we would have gone to Kenya, we would have gone to Uganda, we would have gone to Rwanda, have, all of that. God felt this matter of the U.S. is more important than all of that. Amen. So you shut down that thing. let the fragrance of your incense be mingled with the aroma as we come into my sanctuary seeking deliverance seeking salvation for the United States of America in a moment of time we want to pray for the soul of this nation Ooh, come on to me. now I see things as I speak I see things but this is a very delicate issue that uh, 
we should not talk say so much in public about but i see strange things happening nations have redemptive purposes when these nations decide to align i mean in terms of a corporate persona aligned to the government of god that nation will begin to produce a certain stream of redemption and america is critical a nation under god and one of the agendas of this nation is to protect israel from destruction and i don't want to go deep i don't want to go into some matters here but i can do that if we are not streaming i can go deeper to show you um, there is a balance that God, a restraining power that God put in America to establish a certain kind of balance so that his purposes can prosper. Outside of this authority and capacity to establish this balance, America has no purpose. And she has kept the balance for a long time with evolving diplomatic perspective shades and colors if america falls there are some liberties we have in this our world today that will be a thing of the past you'll be telling your children stories of this was how life was what we experience today will now be as strong as midnight stories you tell it is god's will for america to be a ship nation And that's why we are interested in who reigns over a nation. Because the philosophy of the ruler will determine if the cities of God can be downloaded during the time of the person's reign. I remember, I don't know if it's wise to say some of these things on camera, but we've been in the struggle for a long time. I'm talking about struggle in terms of leaders, and nations. We've been in that struggle for a long time. And I can tell you that there were some people that were very humble. I mean good people, like you and me. They were very humble. They took counsel and strategy. Right? And we prophesied, gave direction and they came into power. But the moment you come into power, there are forces. I know you don't know those forces. <laughs> they can derail. So most times, when people are campaigning and all of that, they don't bring out their color. They, they, they say good things. But if you take your time to study their philosophy, you will know what kingdom will be speaking during the days of their reign. Nothing, nothing influences the direction of a nation much more than the leader of that nation. Can we pray and say, God, did this, this election, this election, give us more time by putting your man there. Give us more time. We need more time. We need, we need to influence India. Are you, I was studying Jesus Christ. We need time. We need time. Give us, give us more time so that we can get set. The harvest is too great. If there is, is there's confusion in the center now, our potential will be cut off. Yeah. We'll be preoccupied by a different war, a different crisis, a different emphasis. So he said, when he shall come in his glory, he will sit on the throne of his glory. And like a shepherd, he will divide between the sheep and the goats. And he's talking about nations. 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 For those of you who understand the workings of parliament and the formulation of policy, it's beyond what you learned in your school of strategic studies. Because any policy you implement either closes a gate to heaven or opens the gate of hell. There are policies that you can establish 
that we are no longer sure that we can have children. Just policy. And it looks very innocent. You can even argue it on the platform of, of the Senate. Say, you know, in view of this and this, why not this? But the passage of that bill, the implementation of that policy, is opening the gate of hell to a generation. Can we take a moment of time? And I'd like you to see things from the real context of their seriousness. And let us pray as priests. We need time. There's never been in the history of this nation that the church in this land is as distracted as it is. The church has become so carnal that we, we do not make decisions anymore on the purposes of God, but on the same the same things that normal unbelievers will make decisions based on. So we are under attack at the moment. We've lost our, our, our saltiness. And we are being thrust out. We are almost good for nothing. We've lost our voice in the land. Lost our influence among the people. We don't have the integrity that is needed for our voices to be recognized. It's an all-time low for us. But there's something we've not lost, the ability to travel before God. There are nations hanging in the balance. I don't know how many of you have visited the Middle East before. The way that thing is going, we need an intervention. It is obvious that the solution to that crisis um, is not yet in view. It's not yet in view. Can we, can we ask that the Lord will grant that US, the USA will not be swayed from her redemptive purpose. Amen. Amen. That all the factors that will need to be in place in order for that unique, unique ministry of God that has been upheld over the years to be sustained, oh God, ensure that is in place. Hallelujah. I, I hope you know I'm not eligible to vote. So I'm not praying because I came. No. This matter is beyond. <laughs> you don't understand this matter. I don't know. Maybe I need to ask them to shut this camera so that I can talk to you. I don't know. I don't understand. No, no. They, people, people online are crying. They'll cry. We tried it once and I almost did not recover from it. So I speak in parables. I would like you to cast your mind back. There was a time where there was so much peace in the Middle East. So much peace. You could even go there and take selfies. And it's not too long ago. Not too long ago. Let us call upon his name and ask him anything you need to do for this balance, for the balance to be sustained so that we can have a window to push, to trade with the gospel. Put it in place. Let America not slip away from her redemptive purpose. Let her strength not be taken from her. Let her not turn her face away from the altar of God and from the power that has made her mighty. Oh, let a new America be born Amen. by that election. Oh, as soon as Zion so Zion determines if the earth will bring forth. Zion determines if a nation is born in one day. So the sound of our travail is what we want to add to the travails of our brethren. Oh, America is praying. There is a cry coming from the midst of our that the purposes of God might be born. In a moment of time, and it will interest you to know that when God wants to produce life, His Spirit travels. That thing you see in the book of Genesis chapter 1, in the beginning, that darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was brooding, He was groaning. He was groaning. If He wants to produce life, He goes into groaning. 
So sometimes when he wants you to be a part of what he's doing, then he now imparts his groaning into you so that you can now groan in mutterings that humankind cannot utter. In order to reveal to us the fact that You know, for a woman, the reason why you have a womb is actually a sign. And the highest purpose is that the Lord will use you to bring forth will come through groaning. And that groaning, the, the physical one, is just a sign. That the better you grow, the more powerful you become. It's the man with the womb. That's the woman. The womb man. So he designed an entire vessel just to tell us that we cannot bring forth life without groaning. As soon as Zion shall be. I remember the catastrophe that befell my family. Until somewhere around 1994, my dad became serious about praying. And we insist that we all pray. And we started that prayer from 94, 95. By 99, the yoke was broken. So it, it, the implication is that we actually held the key to our deliverance. All this why? But uh, we did every other thing apart from groaning. As soon as Zion travel. As soon as Zion travel. I've seen a situation before where the doctors just said, no, this one is gone, and they, they left. And we, and we came in and began to travel. <laughs> we began to travel, and we made the doctors liars. <laughs> By the message of God, we made the doctors liars. Asu, Asayon, travel. So we want to register our travel before God and say, Lord, even Zion is traveling. We cry. We cry, let a nation be born at once. For it is written that as soon as Zion travelled, she brought forth her children. The purposes of God are normally enforced upon the face of the earth. They are made to be. Hallelujah. They are made to be. My earthly father. I prayed, the prayer I prayed for him added 12 months to his life. And the reason why I added 12 months was because I was not trained. I saw him breathe his last on the bed in the hospital. And I cried and I said, Lord, give him one more year. You know, so I was the one that caused that problem. I requested just for one year and his breath came back into him. And when he now died one year later, he was not sick. in the power of travail. I saw him breathe his last. This story I'm saying publicly, my siblings, nobody knows because I was the only one there. Can we pray for this nation and register our travail? Whether you stand or sit, it's not a problem. Just make sure your travail is going up. Your travail is ascending. Because there are some things God cannot turn his back on when there is sufficient travel. No, he won't. He won't turn his back. He won't turn his back. He will not turn his back. He will not turn his back. I asked for one year. And his breath came back. And from that point, he responded to it. He went home. And started living in his life. Exactly one year later, he started seeing the angels that came to take him to heaven. So he told my mom. My mom said, tell them to go back for now. <laughs> he said he has tried, but it seems they don't he respond to his authority. Because I mentioned one year, God didn't reveal to me again that he was going to die. I heard like every other person. I learned my lesson. Oh. 
I have seen the things that <laughs> that govern this this world. I've seen it. I've, I've seen it. You hear you hear that some a, a, a ship capsized. All the members on board died. Oh, that's not the story. That's the result of the story. Absurd as Zion. Even me standing before you here, death came to me once. Then I understood the scripture that says, and the prince of this world cometh and he found nothing. Death turned backwards. I have no covenant with you. My covenant is with life. You have no place in my vessel. Can we pray? Make sure your travail, your travail is registered. Because it is written that as soon. So Zion determines the day of liberty, the day of salvation. Oh, Jesus Christ. We traveled to the village. Went to one of our members' village. So we're coming back. I got a text message. Got a text message from the elder brother of one of our pastors. He said, your pastor, her name we heard, is dying. He's dying. Please help him. That's all. I, I just got that. So we left that village, went to the village that, that our pastor was. They had rejected him from the hospital. He was like a corpse just on the bed. He saw me. He couldn't even respond. And I know that when I see it because I've seen so many people. Ah, so I got a seat and sat down and I spoke. I spoke in prayer. I didn't speak in tongues. Just spoke. Those words were the words that remained in his spirit till he went for the surgery and came out alive and he told me that I'm here because he refused that I should die. The guy had given up. It was not on, his, on the level of his faith again. Yeah, so he came to my house with his wife. He said, you refused for me to die. That's why. I've seen that before. Another of our pastor, he came. No, the mom came and told me that he, he keeps seeing his son dead. I told her, stand up. This discussion has ended. People with me don't die. So go home. So she went home. Then I asked, I called him. I said, where are you come? Stay with me for some time. In the fourth day, we finished night prayer. And everybody was going to his room. For him to move, he just fell down. Ah. Took him for CT scan. They saw a tumor in his brain. I said, that his mother's dream cannot come to pass. I know it's an alert. It's, a, it's, 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 an, it's an alarm signal. But for it to come to pass, it, it means that we refuse to travel. The two best neurosurgeons in Nigeria, one was in, a, in Ekiti State. The other one was in Kaduna State. That time, there were two master neurosurgeons. That could break through the skull, remove the blangata, and operate and fix it back. There were only two that had that level of dexterity. I'm not saying there were only two neurosurgeons. This, if you are going to come back alive, then you will need to. The, may the Lord give you other side. <laughs> if you, if the person is going to remain alive, then go to these two guys. So we went to the guy in Kaduna. He studied in um, Egypt. Yeah, Egypt. Very sharp, very sharp guy. And as they were operating our pastor. And the mother doesn't know they are operating him. The guy died on the table. For 38 minutes. But we were traveling without. Uh, he died for 38 minutes on the table. Do you know those things now? Those medical physics monitors. The thing went for 38 minutes. And after 38 minutes 
except you refuse to travel. If it is on earth, our travel can manage it. Yes. But if do you understand that? Yes. No. So after the surgery, I took him back to the mom. I said, Your son lives. As soon. I can tell you again, people that should have died, they are still here. They are still here. The daughter of one of our elders. And they had already come. You know that exchange they're doing witchcraft. Somebody's about to die, then they use somebody to exchange for the person. So they had exchanged. The spirit had accepted the offering. And they were draining her life gradually. Just draining the life. Just draining the life. Draining the life. I was in Lagos. And then I don't know how she got a phone and she called and said, You know, the next time you come here, I'll be dead. I said, okay, let's 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 strike a deal. Can you stay alive till I come back? I'm I'm going to board a flight now. Just remain alive till I get there. As soon as I am. You know when she got here, when we cast out the spirit of death, she had to learn how to talk again. She has not perfected it yet. Hundred percent. She's like ninety-seven. She had to learn how to walk. Because she, the body had died. She's still alive today. As soon as I am traveling, I'd like you to take a cry. Whether sitting or standing, want to cry and say, Lord, bring forth your strange hand during that election. Oh, Jesus. Let the outcome be a wonder throughout the whole earth. Cry to him. Cry to him. Cry to him. Let the outcome be a wonder. Let the outcome be a wonder. Oh, we seek your intervention. We seek your intervention. We seek your intervention. We seek your intervention in the name of Jesus. Let's go be last night of all. Let's go bamboloi. Abra makada basupre. Asaila bandala. Roque buskete ele mori. Alamo ke la bos ababo obu. Roco si la bosa. Labra kapata la babote. Abenzo pri. Abande kopa urada. Abra tababosa. Abres kope. Bababomba baila. Uria mama. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 66. If I knew well, will you come again? If I knew well, and the church will see your holy face. If I knew well, when you come. Thank you.